Hey guys, so uh, today I'm in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm looking at a uh, supermarket system that was left uh, a long time ago. The rack is long gone, but uh, some of the really cool systems that they used are in place. I can't show you the store or who's in it. It is a national retailer, but uh, they moved into an old supermarket and uh, left some pretty cool history. These disconnects. That's a that's a metal. A metal sticker that's riveted on, screwed on. A sticker, not really, but a metal plate. They've repainted the breakers, or the panels, excuse me. Disconnects. Look at the Margot system that's in place. No longer used, but the Margot was was pretty major energy management system back in the day. Really spectacular. That's the Margot system. So this unit is store, uh, old supermarket. It's long abandoned, built back in the 60s. And uh, we got an air handler. Air handler's up on this mezzanine. I'm told there's some MVE flange body expansion valves. I'm hoping that there are some up there. I just don't know. We're gonna get a scissor lift in here pretty soon and take a look at the expansion valves. Look at the duct furnaces, inline duct furnaces. Carrier, air handler. Yes, there's no belt guard. We're gonna take care of that too. Really some cool stuff. So we're going to go inside the motor room, um, hopefully you like what you see. This electrical panel, really fantastic detail. They've gone ahead and repainted it, which is a shame. Got to get my glasses on here. Look at the detail into the handles. Again, metal stickers that are riveted on name plates look at the bulldog electric 480 volt 200 amps that bulldog sign is riveted on it's not a sticker like we have today look at these beautiful open drives oh they're they're spectacular they're really dirty Try to get you the nameplate. Oh my God, look at the dirt that came off of there. Holy crap. Really dirty. Uh, very hard to read. Looks like it's a... Uh, Fifty horsepower. 460 volt, 1770 RPM on that guy. Isn't that beautiful? Look at metal. Metal valve caps, broken, but a metal valve cap. Couplings, no longer used, but uh, really something else, really awesome history. Let me see if I can get over here by the main plate on this guy. He's gonna be buried, not in the same spot. Yeah, it's right there, it's all rusted out. I can't get to it smaller that was a 50 I'm probably gonna think that's maybe a 30 look at the, the EMS system used I saw it when I was in Las Vegas all tech controls I had those little cool red lights that used to come on right there with the all tech controller Here's the inside of the Alltech controller. No longer used. Alltech. Saw those. Lots of those in Vegas. Holy cow. There were a ton of them in, Ve in Vegas. Again, here's your Margo. Beautiful thermostat. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Honeywell. All metal. Not plastic like it's made today. Really spectacular. Piece of history. That ran those fans, look at these fans. 
these box fans, probably cooling down transformers, but this switch was for those fans. And then here's the opening for the cooling tower for the fresh air. The cooling tower is up on top. And we're gonna head up there in a minute. But look at the size of that grill. So in this area was your rack. All your racks sat right here. You may have had some racks up on top, but all your compressor racks, refrigeration racks sat here. It's really a bummer that uh, they're gone. Guy, somebody's storing some engine blocks. Look at all that, really beautiful. So this is going to the 50 ton condensing unit that's outside the carrier cube. So, you're gonna get to look at me when I go up the ladder. Look at the ceiling for a minute. Nothing professional down here. Just a service manager and Levi's in work boots. Hopefully getting you guys some pretty cool pictures. So I'm up on the upper level. Down below are the open drives, cooling tower, chemicals, your liquid chemical. Here's your cooling tower, your evaporative condenser, fluid cooler, some people will say. Really beautiful piece of history. I'm trying to make it so my book doesn't fall. I think my, my book's going to fall anyways. There, put my glasses down. So here's the two receivers used for those open drives. System is still piped in. A little bit of work, we could probably get them to run. What do you guys think? Oh, see, here's the upper section. The upper section's already been cut out and gone. But here's really what I wanted you guys to see. Look at this. Here's your, your isolation valves. Look at this all metal I'm gonna see if the owner will let me buy them off him these are metal not plastic like they are today Isn't that beautiful beautiful history on this valve cap here's another one and this is the one that I really want Look at this one you take the top off right this beautiful oh, look at that so on the end of your, your isolation valve, you don't have to worry about getting a wrench because the end of the cap fits on there and you can use it to front seat or back seat because of that cap. I'm gonna talk to the guy and see if he'll let me buy these off him because they're really beautiful history. I don't like to steal, so I'm not gonna steal them. Here's another one, beautiful. Look at this hand valve. That's a metal hand valve with a brass handle. Again, I'm gonna ask him to fill. Let me buy them off them because they're just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at these. I didn't even see that. Got the hex opening. So you can front seat and back seat the valves on the receiver. Just gorgeous, look at that beautiful. Not that, that's not beautiful. That is beautiful. Two receivers sitting side by side. Chemical liquid, not a big deal. It's all fairly modern. Look at the tubes. Oh man, the tubes are in pretty horrible shape. There's your tube sheet. Looks like they greased the bearings in 1984. That's how old it is. It was, I was in air conditioning school in 1984. I hadn't even started the trade yet. Instead of a VFD control for controlling head pressure, they used a modulating damper based on the outside temperature or the, the discharge temp on the top of the tower. If this got too hot, oh, that would open and close. Look at that disconnect. Isn't that something else? That's beautiful. Beautiful piece of electrical history right there.
drive motor, maybe 10 horse. I think on the other side, there's some R22 bottles, some liquid gold. I'm gonna be checking those earlier to see if they're full. But really, it's a shame. It's a shame, oh sorry, that was a big, big ass. It's a shame. It's a shame that the uh, the racks are gone. I would love to have seen the racks, the refrigeration system. Uh, would, oh, it would have been fantastic to see. It looks like there's another pan. Oh, yeah. There's another pan here. So that was probably, that was the air conditioning tower. And the refrigeration tower is here. They've got it all boarded up. So they probably took this. It was a lot of money in copper when they demoed the market out. And they pulled that guy out through that opening and then framed it all in. Just some beautiful air conditioning history. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. There'll be lots of pictures coming up on, um, on uh, Instagram. And then check my YouTube page at HVAC lowercase reefer lowercase guy MM uh, for the complete video. Work safe, be safe. We'll talk to you guys next time.